Welcome to TacosandGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more video game reviews. And today we're reviewing, excuse me, reviewing the video game Amnesia, The Bunker. As always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. Left alone in a desolate World War I bunker with only one bullet remaining in the barrel, it's up to you to face the oppressing terrors in the dark. Keep the lights on at all costs. Preserve and make your way out alive. A truly intense horror experience and i really love the story here and i think what really works with the story is the concept in here this is a horror game i haven't played a horror game in a while that really made me feel such a sense of dread and intensity and that's mainly due to the concept of this story as you play as henry who basically is captured and he is put into this bunker and he is dealing with a monster this beast that is stalking him and the story is told through various audios that you pick up from other soldiers, documents that details the events that happened there. And it's actually really kind of sad when you're reading these documents of these people who are on their last breath or on their last moments, leaving you hints on how to get out of there and what you have to do to survive. So I really did enjoy the story for what it was. But the story, while it's lacking a little bit on our protagonist characterization, it makes up for it definitely in gameplay and graphics, which I'm going to talk to you right now. Now, I'm going to talk about the graphics first. I like the graphics here. Now, you're not going to expect um, just graphics that's like, oh, my God, this is such this is a reason why I have to get next gen. I, I, this is recorded on my PlayStation 4 base and it runs very well even then. I like the graphics and what the graphics do very well is, like I said earlier, creating this atmosphere, this sense of dread. The lack of light really, really works here. And all you're having to arm yourself with is this mini flashlight and a gun that will have limited amounts of pistols. And as far as gameplay goes, not only that you have to worry about the darkness, but you also have to worry about you making noise or too much noise because the beast can hear and if you're making too much noise you better believe the beast is going to be coming after you and you have to be on your wits end and how to you're going to survive there are some various puzzles in here which have multiple ways believe it or not of um solving and there's also the game prides itself on trial and error so one thing might not work this time but if you try it again it may be, it might work for that particular section and one thing i also did know is that your items and things will spawn differently depending on your difficulty. So things are not always put in the same place. So if you're playing on hard, it might be somewhere else. If you're playing on easy, it could be somewhere else. So the developers do a nice job of you really keeping you on your toes to make sure that things are not always where it seems to be, which I thought worked very, very well. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, if you play an amnesia game here, it is the same type of style of you basically hiding, running, but this time you do have a weapon with you. But just like any survival horror game, you have to be very careful how you utilize your bullets. There were some moments here where I, there was like, there was a door that was locked and there are other ways for you to solve. You can find an item, you could just try to break the lock. Or you could be like me and shoot the lock and do it the easy way like that, but also alert the beast and then start running for your life. So there's different ways of doing the puzzles here, and I thought it worked very well. Frame rate wise, I did had no, I didn't have any hiccups, but I will have to say this, which is really odd. Um, starting up the game, and this is before the even title screen comes, there was a very long, at least for the PS4 base, I had to wait at least a good, I believe, two minutes and 30 seconds from I'm looking at my clock that I timed it on my notes. Yeah, two minutes and 30 um, seconds for the game to even get to the title screen. So there is a lengthy load time here, which I'm really shocked to see in uh, 2023. Um, it could be, maybe it's my PlayStation, I mean, base. I mean, I had this is like early, early PS4 days. It's time for me to upgrade to the five. But anyway. Maybe it was the PlayStation base, maybe it's the isolated incident, but yeah, it took me a bit for the game to actually load. But even when the game loaded, I had no hiccups with frame rate drops or anything else like that. As far as the gameplay goes, it is 
great i really do love this it just you really feel just because of the story and the atmosphere it really does a great job of creating this sense of dread there are things I, what you're going to really do is explore and that's something because of the story you're going to want to explore more you're going to want to pick up every note you're going to want to read every note that's there to try to get a more of a backstory of what happened to these men in this bunker you want to try to get those audios so you can hear the heartbreaking tales of these men that who are in this bunker getting photos photos might help you with clues photos might actually give you images of what the beast looks like and when the beast shows up the beast shows up and i think what really does help here is that the atmosphere makes it so scary like i said i haven't been this tense in a very long time playing a horror game image in a bunker has definitely done that for me by giving me that sense of dread and that's mainly because it's not taking place in a mansion it's not in an open world where you have a lot of space to really escape or explore this one is in a small bunker where you really have to be on your toes where you really have to know where you're walking should i crouch to be silent here if i open up this door is it going to make noise such as this moment right here where i open up the door and it caused the fire and the beast heard it and i just basically had to turn around run somewhere or just turn on the light and just get out of dodge before the beast comes here so there's so much moments in here that's going to be on keep you on the edge of your seat it's amazing scary game love the gameplay love the graphics Here's a little taste of the sound. As you can see there, the sound quality is really good. And like I said, the sound really enhances the experience of this. And if you have a really good surround sound or a really good sound system, turn that thing up so you can really hear the roar of the beast, the creakling sounds of the walls. It really does amplify this isolation type of experience. And isolation, if I, if I could compare a game, those who are fans of Alien Isolation will get the same type of vibe here of is the beast close? Is the beast in the walls? Where's the beast coming from? Um, how do I manage my inventory? How do I get out of here? It has that sense of dread. I know it keeps sounding like a broken record, but I really want to stress the sense of dread and sadness that this game brings to the table. The sound when it comes to the voice acting, voice acting was okay for whatever uh, much amount of minutes that we did get the voice acting but the sound really here is within just the effects the atmosphere the little bit of music that we get when things are really picking up it really gets the heart pumping and i'm really really happy to report that the sound really did its thing to really give you kind of a, I, I would dare say a little bit of a horror cinematic experience of what it kind of feels like to be in a horror film but what i would have to say though is it does enough to really immerse you and really make you feel like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. I got to get away from this beast. And I think that's where the scares really come in. It's not that much jump scares, believe it or not. There, don't get me wrong. There are jump scare moments in here. But what really works is those loud thuds, the wall shaking. There's lights sometimes going off and then you can hear the beast. If the lights is off, you don't know where the beast is coming from. So there are a lot of things when it comes to sound, what they were able to utilize that really will enhance the experience and will really enhance 
you getting feared and you getting tense. So for my final thoughts on this, Amnesia the Bunker is a must get. It's a must get. It's definitely one of the best horror, mo um, horror movies. Oh my gosh, Justin. One of the best horror games. It feels like a horror movie playing it, to be honest with you. One of the best horror games of 2023. It has a solid concept and this isolation concept. And I kind of like these horror games that have a more smaller scale. And I'm not talking about smaller scale like um, as a term as budget or anything like that. I'm talking about location, focusing on one character, and we've seen I've, I've seen things like that with Visage. Of course, I've seen things with a little bit of obviously Amnesia the Bunker. We've seen that a little bit with Tormented Souls. So I kind of like these more smaller, isolated horror games where it really is just the main focus of man versus beast, or it's just you using your wits. And thankfully, this time you do get to, uh, unlike other Amnesia games, you do get to defend yourself on this one. But I really did like this game a lot. And I really thought it did a great job of really curating that sense of dread and that atmosphere that I have been looking for for a very long time. As far as the characterization goes, the story when it comes to the main character, we don't get too, too much deep dwell into it. But that that's that's neither here or there. I'm not gonna like really knock too much points off for lack of characterization here. It's not like we're getting this guy's whole biography or anything else like that because the whole concept is to survive this this situation. So overall, I'm gonna give Amisha the Bunker a B plus. Definitely recommend this. This is just from tacosandgeeks.com. If you like what we do here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're watching this on Tacos and Geeks. By all means, browse our website. More reviews to come. And we'll catch you on the next one. As always, later days. Peace.